Okay, so here we are on turn seven. Let's just take a look at his motions for this turn. Yeah, like I, like I knew he, he fired on my rockets, but at least it can't prevent the other one from being able to do so. He's going to fire on my Marine. Now the nice thing is I can bring that rocket back up to that medic tile. With the engineer there, I can heal him up for four on the next turn. But it's going to delay my use of the rockets, which is the real problem. Hmm. And there's a third eclipse now. Up on that square. So I'm going to move him up to this rocket. So I'm sorry, I'm going to move this marine up to this mountain. I'm going to bring this rocket up to this medic tile so that I can heal him next turn. Put another battery here. And so at the very least, it's going to make him a little bit more apprehensive about his approach up in this direction. This copter is just not as useful anymore. Although, I can't kill off this unit and bring him back up here. At least I can get a unit out of his way and keep him from healing back up. And... I guess the only place I can fly in that would be safe from retaliation from that eclipse is right at uh, this spot. Oh, even there. No, he can't go on a mountain tile. So my copter for now is safe from the eclipse retaliation. At least I got another unit count. What's the what's the, the unit damage? So I've killed three and he hasn't killed any, although he's got a lot of eclipses out there on the field, which are starting to get worrisome. These guys are going to have a double whammy shot at this, so I might actually be able to kill him right away if... I want I could just heal this up for four immediately with this battle with this engineer on that tile if he pushes if he if he wants to try and do something sneaky like continue to push his eclipses up here I can bring him down here and suddenly the EMP is useful despite what I said earlier uh, but I can't you can't move and do the EMP so I might want to have him in this position next turn in fact let me put him there for now so that in case one of these eclipses wants to try something sneaky and keep moving up in, into these upper tiles, I have enough defense. And, uh, this entire line right here is going to be covered. This line right here is going to be covered by my two batteries in the back. Um, is there a useful place I can put this marine, or should I just keep him there and let him get killed? No, that's a useful spot. It forces him because it, it keeps this uh, this eclipse from advancing into the bushes into the square position where he is and firing on my engineer. And even well, he still could be able to do that, but in order to do that, he's going to have to waste a movement and shot from this eclipse. So instead of being able to move this eclipse into a better position, like over here, or getting further control on my line. He's going to have to waste that motion on taking out this marine to clear up the space for this one. And it's still, I don't think, a fully loaded... Oh, shoot. Well, that's certainly not what I meant to do. Man, just full of mistakes today. So a misclick just cost me my defensive position that I was just bragging about having. Uh, now you see why I'm only 1458. Okay, so... Let's move this Marine into a more useful position. I don't want to move him up on this line because then he'll get double whammied by these eclipses. Let's keep him at bay on this spot so that this eclipse can't move up into this spot and threaten my rockets. He can kill off no, he can't kill my engineer. So the defense will keep it alive just long enough for these batteries to be able to use because he can't move up into this line. I don't want an eclipse to go anywhere across this line. If that happens, it could be disastrous for me. So I need to make sure I use these batteries to keep the pressure on these eclipse coming. Okay, well, we'll see how he goes with his next turn.